Greetings ladies and gentlemen of World of Warcraft, my name is Emilius, and today I'll be showing you how to set up a trade skill master for posting transmog gear. Let's begin. Alright, first off, you wanna head over to trade skill master, make an account, log in, realm selection, and then you wanna add your realm. So for example, if I wanted Europe and Draenor, I would click EU, and then Draenor, and then add realm. Then the next step you'll be doing is going in and downloading the desktop app for Trade Skill Master to get your, um, what is it, yeah, Auction DB for your items. So your transmog gear will automatically be posted for the best prices. Now here we can see that I have updated prices for your EU McFarren. Now if we head into World of Warcraft now, I would have all the prices of all the items on the server McFarren. So yeah, let's uh, let me show you how you can use that for posting auctions. And now we are in World of Warcraft. First step is to set up your operations. And we'll start off very simple with a mailing operation. Now that could be for example send to Dev or send to Emilius. So you just create a fresh one called like send to whatever alt or bank name you have. Then you type in the name right here. And then you press OK. Now you can change the keep quantity, max quantity, whatever you want. If you want to go a little more advanced than this. But this is the easiest step. You don't need any more for mailing. Now we go over to the important stuff. If you are just doing transmog gear, you only need one. And this is the only one operation you need for auction. You have to make sure to have the desktop app running 24 7, or as long as you're playing World of Warcraft, or unless you might get cheated for a lot of gold. So be sure every time you open up World of Warcraft, you have the desktop, tab, desktop app for Trade Skill Master open too. Alright, for transmog gear, these are my setups for posting them. 48 hours, because my server is mainly PvE, there aren't that much competition on transmogs. So I just post them every second day, and that's it. No more need to watch undercuts and that, because there aren't that much competition on my server. Now here's the important thing. Well, you can post post cut button 1, if you don't want to, like, undermine yourself, I recommend that. But you can fiddle around with it. Max expires. Um, I have mine on 20. That's only for transmog gear. But you can't, like, put it on 5 or 5,000 or 500. That's up to you. Undercut amount. Now, this is where I'm a little douchebag, because I set one mine to one copper. You could put it higher, you could put it lower, bit percent, I recommend maybe like 93, 90, around that. Bit percent puts, when you post an auction, it puts um, the starting bid, like the lowest starting bid, uh, a certain percent of the buyout price. Now, there aren't that many people who actually do um, bid on items, but there are some. You can try, like... Uh, show that your item is a bargain by putting the bit percent lower But that is up to you. I recommend keeping it uh, between 100 and 90 Just so you don't lose out on delicious gold Here's the important stuff though 75% of DB market now. What does that mean? It means that if the minimum price is met my minimum price for an item is the 75% of its market price. Now, for example, if we open up and see here, Ravage's Armor has a market value of 170 sa <laughs> 177 gold. Now, if that price on the auction house is 80%, I'll just undercut it. If it is 70% of the market value, it will post for 75% on my setups. You can change around this, but I recommend using this. 
All right, 75% for DBM market is the minimum price. When below minimum, post at minimum price. Maximum price, 150% DB market. When above maximum price, post at maximum price. Normal price, 100% DB market. Nothing more to that. Now we have the second step, which is your groups. Now groups is a huge part of TSM. It's the only reason, like shortly put, it's the only reason why TSM is actually worth it. The groups are where you put all of your transmog gear. Now I have some uh, groups <laughs> under my groups, some subgroups for items such as Dark Moon Fair replica gear. That will be all the noble gear for roleplay and all that. Non-crafted vendor and crafted transmog gear. Now these groups you can just uh, I'll post my export. Um, text in the description and you can just post that in for yourself or you can make your own groups and put in items now a little step you have to remember is put in operations for said group where we have the operation i told about earlier auction single stack and if you want to make it make a bank alt you can use your mailing operation right here now ladies and gentlemen that is about it now I'll show you one little trick that I learned from uh, the very cool guy called Steam's Gamebox. Is that you can, when you're scanning the auction house for posting, posting items, you can make a macro that posts items and you can bind it to a scroll wheel. Now this is the macro and I'll be having it down in the description so no worries. And I bound mine to shift and mouse wheel down. So if you look at how many auctions that is, that's 10 around. So if I just hold shift and scroll down with my mouse wheel, I'll be posting all those auctions fast as fucking hell. And there we go. That's all the auctions right there. Now the rest of the scanning and they'll come later, but that, ladies and gentlemen, that's about it. You'll have to know about how to post transmog gear. I've been Emilius and thank you for watching.